Alan Diaz Steiner on the other. And importantly, he's been here before, top four in LAIC, but let's get into the action. Game number one, Charger Bug, Mirror, Volt Switch into Volt Switch, X Scissor into X Scissor, and Discharge, hopefully not into Discharge, since it's resisted. Yes, that is certainly not the attack that you are looking to use here. We are going to see these X Scissors start to fly in this first match of the Losers Finals, best of Five. Let's take a look. We see the Charger Bug. We see the Annihilate and the Whiskash in the back. We see Ashton Ash reaching for the Whiskash now that the Charger Bug is a little softened up. But LNDS Steiner is going to actually return some fire, throwing an X Scissor into the Shadow Whiskash. It's a bit of an interesting switch looking at his team composition. It's not really a standard ABB style. Switching into Whiskash doesn't necessarily bring out any of the counters to Annihilate, but I think allowing himself to build up some energy advantage and some momentum into the next Pokemon. It does, however, pull out the Azumarill, but Azumarill into Annihilate is much more muddied than typical fighters into Varies because Shadow Ball is just so hard hitting and Azumarill is so slow paced. It is, but it is thick with quite a few Cs. It is a bulky fairy type Pokemon, which many fairy type Pokemon cannot boast. We are going to see the Shadow Whiskash go down. Here is a Charge Bug. You said something was a little muddied. I don't think there's anything muddy about electric into water. Ice Beam coming through, going to pull a shield from Ashton Ash. The pacing to that charge attack, needing to do two Volt Switches allowed LNDS Steiner to reach that Ice Beam, going for a full farm down, but not quite able to do it. He needed just one more Volt Switch in order to secure the KO. Wants to make sure to swipe just enough bubbles to guarantee a knockout of the Azumarill. Is going to have just shy of two X Scissors here. The first will be shielded by Steiner. In the back is Annihilate versus Lickitung, a very neutral matchup, and it'll all come down to wins this charge attack tie. LNDS Steiner avoiding the tie earlier in the matchup, now figuring out that he loses it. The last shield has been pulled, and Ashnath happy. Annihilate with a shield advantage is so good into almost every single Pokemon in the meta. It is that shield advantage is going to help. It can protect him against a power whip, but he has to get through this charge bug first. Going for an X Scissor Bait. This is double resisted damage. It would do almost nothing to this Annihilate, but Ash Nash puts up the shield, does not have the energy counts. I don't believe Discharge was available. Oh no, maybe getting a little lost in the sauce, going for a Night Slash to knock out the Charge Bug. We're going to see the Lickitung come in next. Ash and Ash, Whoa. we get the attack boost! This could change everything! Night Slash, the move of choice here, going to be double boosted by that previous Night Slash, going to do a lot of damage, as we've, as we've said many times. Landing that Night Slash boost allows the Annihilate to have such a comfortable matchup here. Yes, Annihilate needs to get to this Night Slash, gets to it and knocks out. Lickitung needed that power whip and just could not get there. Ash and Ash taking game number one and another boost to close it. Ash Looks so great and be able to turn it around. Here we are in game two. No time to think straight ahead. Going for the Charge Bug into the Lickitung matchup and in the back. We've seen a change from Elendia Steiner, and I love it. Azumarill, not quite as strong into Annihilate, but he's brought his best Annihilate answer in that Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz may be a little bit more awkward to bring when your opponent has both Charge Bug as well as the Shadow Alolan Sand Slash, but in this match, it is the key decisive change that Steiner has to give himself an advantage, and we see a switch up into Annihilate. Yes, the Annihilate going to be using those counters to try to get as much damage in and Mandibuzz as possible. Ash and Ash can't do any, not even neutral damage to this Mandibuzz. Shadow Ball is going to be your best bet as it is a same type attack bonus, heavy damage dealing move, but really gonna be also relying on the fast attack pressure of counter and Aerial Ace connects as these snarls are slowly starting to chip away as well. One more Aerial Ace will knock out the Annihilate. Ash and Hash has to decide how am I gonna defeat the Umbreon of the sky? How am I gonna defeat Feet, this giant bulky dark type Pokemon. A Shadow Ball is going to come close to a knockout here. Let's see, will it do it? 
Really great counting there from Ashton Ash, recognizing that back-to-back -back aerial ace was not loaded, and I do like utilizing a singular shield here. It would have been a bit tough to deal with that Mandibuzz when it had about 30% of its health. He does not have a Pokemon on his team that walls off Mandibuzz energy. However, we see an immediate switch by Steiner, not allowing a fast attack down from Ashton Ash. That Mandibuzz is getting dangerously low on health. However, I don't think it's quite in a range where Mudshot is going to be able to knock it out. Maybe we'll have to see which Pokemon is going to be able to secure the knockout, or will that Mandibuzz fly high above the bug, fly high above the Whiskash here in New Orleans? Body Slam loaded for Steiner here. X's are coming through for the charge bug. This would threaten a knockout. An undercharge actually does not pick up the knockout because of that undercharge, reaching for the power of now, knocked out by the mud shot. It not able to fire that decisive, super effective attack. Ashton Ash going for the Scald. He got lucky with those Night Slashes. Can he get lucky again? Will the Scald debuff? Scald coming through does not pick up the debuff, and importantly, if he does land a debuff later on in this matchup, LNDS Thunder does have that Mandibuzz in the back. Mandibuzz is not threatened whatsoever by the Mud Shots from the Whiskash, so it will need to expend energy to pick up that knockout. Possibly that Mandibuzz got really low. I'm not sure if a Volt Switch went through earlier. We will have to see. That is a very low health Mandibuzz. I think it can take a Mud Shot or two, though. X Scissor is loaded for the charge bug, will pick up the knockout into the Whizcash. The question is, is how much energy does Ash Nash have on his own charge bug? Will it be able to outpace? Will a catch be able to occur? Two more Volt Switches necessary for both Pokemon, and as we saw before, it was actually Charge Attack Tide that was won by Ash Nash, going for an additional Volt Switch. And Ash and Ash trusting the charge bug, predicting the swap from Steinar, is able to knock out the opposing charge bug and claim a second game. Let's see, can he do it? Let's take a look at the lead. We see that Shadow Alolan Sand Slash into a charge bug. We see Ash and Ash a shake of the head, doesn't want to be in this matchup, switches into the Whiskash, perhaps making a call about what Steiner has. Whiskash looks pretty safe, but that lick of tongue with that super effective power whip is in the back. Switching into the Whiskash allows him to get the Mud Bomb off before a charge attack is ready by the Charge Bug. Charge Bug launching its first x Scissor Healer. Will Ashton Ash be able to send in a second Mud Bomb or will Steiner switch out? He does into the Azumarill, freeing up the Annihilate for the end game. But remember, Ashton Ash is not running Shadow Claw on that Alolan Sand Slash. It's, it's Powder Snow, which will have a little bit better matchup into that Lickitung if those two Pokemon do face. Yes, perhaps that was the plan from Ash and Ash all along. Here is a Mud Bomb. Whiskash doesn't love this matchup. It is trying to throw Mud Bomb after Mud Bomb. It's no longer advantageous to throw Scald because you're not. That debuff chance is so low now. Ice Beam going to fire. Ash and Ash has two Protect Shields, but says, Whiskash, you've done your job. The Azumarill is out. I think my Annihilate is going to be key in the back. But now that this, um, this Shadow Alolan Sand Slash is running, Powder Snow, it can't do that neutral Shadow Claw damage to the Azumarill. Azumarill's charge attacks do not threaten this Alolan Sand Slash. Play Rough going to be resisted by that Steel Typing, and Ice Beam double resisted by the Ice and Steel Typing. That allows Ash and Ash to build up a ton of energy here, basically at 100. Drill Run needing to be thrown because Ice Punch resisted by Azumarill's Water Typing would not pick up the knockout. And the Charge Bug comes in. It's not able to get to an attack. It is going to throw the Ice Punch first. And the Ice Punch will not, will hit a Protect Shield. We see a Quick Swap into that Annihilate. Steinar is hoping, uh, is going to have to take on this entire Annihilate with two shields. Two Shield Annihilate is a great strategy. The call that that is an x and not a Discharge. That's the second time that Steiner has thrown an x double resisted damage into the Annihilate, this time Ash Nash making the correct prediction. Steiner needs to get a bait here in order to reach another hard-hitting discharge later on in the game. Going straight Night Slash into the Slickitung is his best bet for key damage here. Can Ash and Ash get another decisive boost? 
I don't hear the call. I don't hear the song playing. So let's go ahead and see. There is a body slam. It is a bait. Ashton Ash puts up the protect shield. The body slam bounces off. The switch timer is going to start becoming available to Ashton Ash after this night slash. The lick -a tongue is knocked out. The charge bug's coming in next. Charge bug is going to need to hope that those volt switches can pick up a quick knockout because if this annihilate reaches to a night slash, it's going to be very tough. Actually switching into the Alolan Sand Slash, throwing a charge attack. Shield comes up from Ashton Ash. Ashton Ash does have an Ice Punch loaded, but will he just go for fast attack pressure? We'll have to see. The Charger Bug has an attack too, but we see the Volt Switch go through. 